by Cancer. Some sage to cleanse the space. Three chimes to bring in positive energy. This is a general tarot card reading for the zodiac sign of Cancer. If you have Cancer anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the Cancer. Cancer, welcome to Remedies, Alchemy, and Tarot. My name is Greta. I am an intuitive tarot card reader. I do look at the sun placement, the moon placement, and other planetary placements to get an idea of the energy that is surrounding you at this time. But first and foremost, I do trust my intuition. It is my intention that during these tarot card readings with me that you learn to vet your intuition as well, that you tap into your intuition. I think that tarot cards are a wonderful way to do that, which is many times when I'm looking at these cards, I'll hold that up and I'll describe the imagery, I'll describe what it is that I'm seeing to help you become more familiar with the tarot cards as well, as a way for you to vet what you are experiencing, what you are feeling, and where spirit, where source is guiding you, where the source is leading you. And Cancer, the foundation, the basis of your reading this week is the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is the legacy wealth. That is wealth that is left to us that we have inherited. It is the wealth that we are building and it is the legacy that we are leaving for those that come after us. And that is followed by the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Wands is sudden changes. A lot of sudden changes that bring in opportunities for growth growing your legacy, you are going to be presented with many opportunities in which you can build on your legacy or build your legacy on. And let's see how that plays in to the rest of your reading. Full speed ahead here for you, Cancer. And in your public life, in your professional life. Here we have the judgment card. And let's look carefully at what is happening with this judgment card. The judgment card is like the resurrection, something from the past. An act of God brings something from your past back to life. It breathes new breath into something that you thought was ended, as is indicated here by the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands is the reaping what we have sown. That is reaping what we have sown from something from the past, reaping what we have sown. Um, this Ten of Wands show someone it bringing in the harvest. And so tens in tarot represents beginnings and endings. And what I like about that reaping what we sow, what we bring, that harvest is an ending, but it's also the beginning of enjoying what it is that we have worked so hard for, what we have worked so tirelessly for. Followed by the chariot card. And the chariot is uh, victory after competition. And it's not just one competition. It's almost like there's been multiple little 
battles, multiple little victories before we actually get to the chariot. But the chariot is the ultimate victory after achieving or jumping over many hurdles, many hoops, many challenges. We've overcome many challenges to receive the victory. Followed by the world card, a gift. What is this gift? You know, Cancer, you have built your professional reputation by solving problems. And this situation that is coming up, that is arising, is no different. And those surrounding you do admire your pragmatic way of solving problems. I think that you enjoy a good puzzle. You enjoy a good challenge of any kind. And if anything, your only wish would be that it wouldn't have gone on for so long before this is brought to your attention. And so in your professional life, in your public life, there has been a problem or there has been an issue that has been ongoing that you are going to be made aware of. And it's definitely a problem that you can solve. It's definitely a hurdle that you can jump. And it's being brought to your attention because those around you know that you can solve this problem, that it's going to be well taken care of, that it's going to be well handled. But again, your only wish is that you wouldn't have, that they wouldn't have waited so long before bringing this to your attention. Puzzles are easier solved sooner than later. And I, so <laughs> I think as a result of them waiting so long to bring this problem, to bring this issue to you, to your attention to fix or to your attention to solve because they've waited that time span. It's a little more difficult. I think that there's a little more backtracking that needs to be done to solve this problem, but definitely you are up for the challenge and you are very capable. And they bring you the tough problems because they know that it will be fixed, that it will be solved regardless of the challenges and hurdles that you'll need to face. And Cancer, in your private life, in your personal life, and this would be home, love, family, and friends, we start with the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords is tender heart. I like to call this my tender heart. Um, a broken heart. Something that makes you very sad. Followed by the King of Wands. And the King of Wands while he is happy with his position and he's okay with the choices that he's made, he's sacrificed his own passions, his own desires for the greater good. Um, there's so it's almost like, thank you, Spirit, that if left to his own devices, if he were um, on his own, if it was only his life, that 
he was concerned with or that he was in charge with, he would have made different choices. He would have followed his passions. He would have followed his desires. He may have even taken a different path. But because of the responsibilities of the kingdom, because of the responsibilities of home and family, he's made different decisions. And he's happy, he's confident in that. Followed by the Ten of Swords. And again, tens in tarot represents endings. And so you have two endings here. You have the harvest. And this ten, while it is a dark card, it follows the Nine of Swords, and the Nine of Swords is the stress. The Nine of Swords is the agony. So it's the ending of agony, the ending of stress. You've been very busy. Followed by the Page of Pentacles, which is a new path. There is an ending here that is going to allow you to follow your passions, to make different decisions. Not that you're unhappy with your life, not that you're unhappy with the decisions that you have made up until this point, but there is a change. There is a sudden change that is going to allow you to make different decisions, to follow the path that you're more passionate about, to do what it is that you love, to do what it is that you feel that you've been called to do. You know, Cancer, fall has proven to be a very busy time for you. And you have been able to effectively balance work and home. And maybe you've even been traveling for pleasure, but now it is time to focus on changing things up around the house. Uh, you may be changing things up around the home, or you may even be helping someone close to you um, change things up around their homes. But there's major changes that are coming in your home life, a uh, rearranging of things in your home life. And someone may be moving in or someone may be moving out, but you know, that's a bittersweet. When somebody moves in or somebody moves out, it's bittersweet because you know, it's that we are uh, happy that people are growing. We are happy that people are advancing. But there's also that tenderness, that broken heart on knowing that our relationships have changed and they will be forever changed. Messages from Spirit. And Cancer, here we have the Strength card. Um, the Strength card represents the zodiac sign of Leo in the tarot. But look at what she is doing. She's putting her hand in that lion's mouth. And she is following her divine wisdom, her intuition. She is on her path. She is doing what she is called to do. It's like that is her gift and that is what she's doing. And she's doing it with quite a bit of ease. There's been some confusion as is indicated. There has been a 
battle. And here I see three people here. There's been a battle between three people. And there is one person that is wanting to win at all cost. And this has caused confusion and it has caused harsh words. But I see that ending as you are in the doorway. Look at this two of wands. These wands each represent a doorway. And here we see someone standing in the doorway with the world in their hands. It's like all options are available moving through or moving towards the future, moving into the great unknown. All options, all dreams, all passions are available. And we can see them looking out, wondering and pondering how to best move forward. Followed by the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords, again, is the stress, it's the pain, it's the agony, it's the sleepless nights. Many times when I see the Nine of Swords, especially in the messages from Spirit, that is indicating that Spirit is speaking to you in your dreams. And I highly encourage you to begin keeping a dream journal to help you connect with Source, to help you connect with Spirit and where Spirit is leading you, where Spirit is guiding you, um, what Spirit is preparing you for. Spirit is preparing you for. And so, you know, a simple dream journal really does help strengthen that connection. You are the perfect amount of busy. You have embraced the season of balance and have found, have, yes, you have found, it's like, yes, the perfect amount of busy the perfect amount of busy in your private life and the perfect amount of busy in your professional life. I am going to give you a little bit of a heads up about this holiday season. I'm going to encourage you to start your shopping early and to try to be done with all of your shopping and all of your holiday arrangements by Thanksgiving. This holiday season is really going to be one of hectic and very chaotic where everyone's plans are going to go awry. There's a lot coming up, so I hope you keep tuning in, but I do want to encourage you to start your shopping now.